<gasps> we get to start with a panda! Yes! That is so cool! Oh my goodness! Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche version 0.2.1 and we are here with a brand new year and a brand new tribe on a brand new island because we want to start playing on a nice stable version of the game and carry through with this tribe until the next big update in February. So I'm really excited to be here with a new pair to start with. As so many of you guys agreed with me, it was just really interesting how we weren't bonding very well with the Lilith tribe and that makes me a little sad because they were quite fun and we probably will go back and visit with them maybe as an extra niche episode now and then or maybe as an occasional stream that we can do together. But it's a new year. It's a new update and I really want to jump in with a brand new tribe. So look at this. We have Adam and Eve and I have actually gone ahead and renamed them. So we have June, our male, and he is looking amazing. He has a wonderful panda pattern. I love the color of his mane. He has the venomous fangs as usual and it looks like he has one dead paw. So let's look at his detailed genetics really quickly. He has no paw, immunity F and G. He does carry the recessive hemophilia, recessive swimming tail, recessive ram horns which hopefully will stay down there because I want to keep poison things for as long as we can he has short-sighted eyes recessive so let's go ahead and look at this oh good but Omi who is normally named Eve but I have renamed her Omi so we can kind of start with a fresh new pair with fresh new names she has got good normal blood clotting normal eyesight normal body oh this is this is a nice healthy female and a nice interesting male that we get to start a brand new island and a brand new season of our series with. <gasps> Look at this. They have a tree. They have a little tree and they have a little tide pool. Look at that. That's so cool. They've got a little tide pool down here we can check out. And they have a tree. The tree has returned to us, you guys. And it's right next to the exit to the middle island. And I'm really hoping that this time, since we are going to stick with this specific tribe all the way until the February update, that we will be able to ride everything out and we will be able to go all the way to the middle island. We will be able to go all the way to the hard island and we might even be able to send the toughest of our tough up to the killer island which is the fourth island that has been added so i'm really looking forward to seeing just where all of the adventures go this is going to be awesome and we need to get to the tree that is so cool oh i love the trees we'll have to see if it is required to have the cracking ability to collect the nuts from those trees too and i love that little tide pool that's just very scenic so all right you guys welcome to the janu tribe this is janu j-a-n-n-u uh because it's january and it's a new tribe and like I said hopefully we'll stay with these guys for quite a while so now that we know what our starting pair looks like and they've got some pretty good genetics we know the drill by now and I really like that we have actually gone back to the three gym system so I think instead of doing four gyms and two moves each turn we can finally return to having three moves per turn which I think is a lot more comfortable for us so June, you're going to need to help us out. Oh, and it's the Janu tribe. So it's kind of like it's named after him. So we're going to have him go ahead and just search all of the grass. And then she's going to go ahead and collect up. We'll have her breed with him and collect up some berries. And there they are. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's always so exciting to start new tribes. I love this game so much. Deep breath, you guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go ahead and see what kind of baby they're going to have first off. So the very... <gasps> Spots already? How did we get spots? Oh, because she had recessive spots. Oh my gosh, and is this is this a new creature already? Quick, June, come over here and come see who this is. Um Oh my gosh, it is a new creature! <gasps> is it another rogue? Oh, they're so cool. Look at this. This is a very attractive pair. I feel like this is, because they're procedurally generated, randomly generated now, I really feel like this is just a really fun way to welcome in the new year. So I'm so excited to see where they go. And they have a son, first thing, named Tanu. He's got normal eyesight, thank goodness, healthy on his immunity. He's got secondary big body. Oh, I totally forgot to drop in some of the mutation menu genes. I'm just so excited. All right, and if I sound a little weird, I apologize, guys. With the new year, I still have an old cold. Cold, so hopefully this cold will be gone soon and we will try to do our daily niche episodes as usual too so for wandering around the island 
with berries so far, I think we're going to try to get a little bit more speed and a little bit more size with our creatures right now. So let's go ahead and into the mutation menu. I'm going to add in big body just so we can have that extra strength as well. And they've already got runner's leg. So what else adds speed? I mean, lean body would add more speed actually. Um, do I want to have speed or strength right now? Hmm, that's a good question. We could always do water body again or spiky body and make a mermaid uh, tribe, but I think we'll hold off on those for now. I don't want to have cracker jaw just yet. Um, we could try to just make sure 100% that we get rid of the normal or the hemophilia gene too. So let's see, maybe let's start with trying to make our babies as healthy as possible. And we'll also try to make them, let's see, maybe a little faster. So let's actually go with lean body. Let's try lean body out because I think having fast creatures would be really fun. All right. Oh, I love this. All right. So Adam, I think he's going to have to, excuse me, June. He's going to have to go and investigate because here he is with his beautiful new mate and their lovely new son, and they're getting ready to settle this island. Who knows where they have come from? Who knows what their past is? But I'm really excited to see where their future is, especially because they have a little son with tons of awesome spots. But we probably should check out who that other creature was. So let's go ahead and send Adam down here. Oh my. There's another male. Um... He's not actually terribly unhealthy. He's just a little bit unattractive. Uh, just a little bit. He's actually jumping in the water. So let's look at his stats. Decent-ish. He's kind of like a generalist across the board. Could he help us out with collecting, I suppose, and exploring? It may not hurt to add him to the tribe for a minute. And he does have D immunity. You are one unique looking creature. Can I? Oh, he's he's zipping all over the place. So he's not a rogue male. He's just a wandering male. So we might invite him into the tribe in just a moment. But we'll have to see if he and Adam are going to have a bit of a conversation about it. All right. So, oh, wow. Look at him. And, and then again, I'm kind of like leery to add in spit snout straight off the bat. But he does have a really cool red mane. So he's kind of like a little carrot top. And I do like that he has blue and violet eyes. So re remember, you can't be superficial when it comes to the spit snout. Sometimes it really is helpful to have it in the family if it comes with a lot of other great genetics. All right. So maybe we can, I mean, we might as well invite him over. Let's go ahead and invite him to join our tribe. And what we'll do, I don't think we'll have him breed with, well, we could have him breed with Eve, but I don't really want to. We'll have him be our good explorer for us. So he's gonna go this direction and we're gonna send him along the beach to start exploring this tree. So that's his perk for being a member of our tribe. And then I'm going to send June back up here. I may have called June Adam a few times. I apologize for that. And his beautiful mate, Omi. I wonder if like this white coat, is, does she have big body? No, she doesn't have big body, but she sure does look at, look at that beautiful pattern. But her, his beautiful mate, Omi, uh, I wonder, yeah, I feel like maybe one, one pattern, no, or no pattern, just one color coats might become something that this island really, really enjoys. I think she's gonna go ahead and she's gonna get ready to have her next child. And we're going to move her son, Tanu, over. Can he help out with berry collecting? Look at that movement. Because he has one boost to his hind legs. And then he's got two runner's legs and normal body. He actually could really start moving around if he wanted to. That's pretty awesome. We're going to move her back into the nest. And she's just going to quietly focus on gathering up berries and watching after their son, who has discovered a large rock. So I think that June is probably pretty appreciative that though they have met a new creature, the new creature doesn't seem that intrigued just yet to adding his genetics into their gene pool. All right, let's see what the next baby is going to look like. <gasps> it's another boy and he's got ram horns. Look at that. And he's spotted. Look at you two having spotty children. I do have a soft spot for the white coat with black spots because they're like little Dalmatians. And he does have dad's no paw. Oh, maybe that's something. Oh, and he has normal blood clotting. Thank goodness. Maybe, maybe actually putting in a berry paw. Oh, we don't have berry paw yet. To remove the crippled legs from the family genetics is something that I should work on next. But I'm really glad to see normal blood clotting and normal eyesight on Duke Dukta. And I kind of want to rename Duke Dukta um, Omri. So we're going to name him Omri because I think Omi really likes him. 
And let's see, look at this little spotty family. They're just so cute. And we probably, oh, but I need to keep an eye on the food. So I probably need to make it so they can start collecting up more food soon. I'm gonna have uh, Omi move over and gather up some berries. And speaking of food, let's have Kuronu jump along. <gasps> he found him! Oh, but he doesn't have the cracking ability. So he does need to have the cracking ability to be able to access that tree. So we're going to have him come and start exploring around the tree and try to bring these two little patches of grass together. All right, wonderful. And speaking of patches of grass, little Tanu can go ahead and explore his rock just so that we know it's there. And we'll have June come over, do a little bit of exploring. And Eve can go ahead and mate with him just so that she's ready to have another baby and get their big family started. Um, next time they find a berry bush, maybe, because we're starting to run a little bit low on food already. Which is really... Okay, good. We've got another berry bush. Omri, you can come over and help do some exploring. So, so Omi has some very curious sons with her. And who knows what the next one will be. But we need to wait before we have her give birth again. All right, do we have, oh, thank goodness, a berry bush. Wonderful. So Kurunu can actually help add to the family with that berry bush. And June, do you have any cracking ability? He has swimming ability. So what we really need to do now is we probably need, whoops, sorry about that. We probably need to go ahead and try to get the berry paw as quickly as possible by gathering up enough berries. Oh, and now it's called Nimble Fingers, excuse me. And Nimble Fingers, I believe, will allow us to actually gather up the nuts. So we definitely need to get Nimble Fingers ASAP. So I'm gonna send, oops, Eve, you weren't, or excuse me, Omi, you weren't supposed to go there. <laughs> I'm going to send June on over. So he, oh yes, and another berry bush, wonderful. And a rabbit warren. So this is kind of where some of the food was hiding. So thank you very much, Karonu, for sharing that with us. So we'll start gathering up those berries. Good, this is a nice, quiet, peaceful start. So far we're not being plagued by too many rogues and not being chased down by any predators. It's not as much food as I really want to see though. I feel like this island is a little smaller than some of the past islands, so it's probably meant to really kind of boost us off this island over to the middle island sooner than later. So I think we'll probably launch off this island sooner than we have in the past. Oh, wonderful. Oh, I heard a bunny. I don't know where it is, but I heard the bunny. All right, so we'll have Tanyu help out with gathering up the berries. Omri can help out with gathering up the berries as well. And then we have Omi. Um, I think she might go ahead and we'll let her have her next child. June down here can gather up berries too. So lots and lots of berries to collect there. And, oh, we're almost there, you guys, on having gathered enough berries. Oh my gosh, he's a very good berry picker. How did he get so many? I guess I just clicked it really quickly. All right, so we've got plenty of berries for the moment. And we're only five berries away from being able to unlock Nimble Fingers. Wonderful. All right, Omi, let's go ahead and see what your next baby is going to look like. And then June can start exploring the grasses and kind of making a safe place for their children to come down and help them to gather up lots of berries too. So let's see, is she finally gonna have a little girl? That would be kind of nice. I mean, a little bit a little bit threatening because we have that face in the background who could possibly be the female's mate. But let's go ahead and see, what kind of baby will she have now? It's another boy! Okay, that's a good thing and a bad thing. This may end really soon because I don't have any females other than Omi. So Omi, we, we might need you to have another baby like really, really soon. She's literally my only female on the island right now and that's starting to make me a little nervous. All right, so we have Vanyu and this little guy, I kind of want to rename him. Uh, let's name him Kulo. And Vanyu, or excuse me, Kulo here, has a swimming tail unexpectedly. So he kind of slipped in that swimming tail that I think uh, Omi has as her recessive. And what else can he do? He's got the yellow fur, so he's a little bit different than his brothers. He has a little bit more of a sandy coat to him. And that nice, I really like, oh, that's just so cute. She's got so many spotty sons. What are you gonna do with all these spotty sons, Omi? You need a daughter. So she's really gonna have to start hoping for a little girl soon. All right, and Kulo, you just stay right there. And then Tanu, maybe we'll have him start doing a, just a teensy bit of exploring away from his family. He's a little bit bold and brave that way. 
And same over here. Oh, thank goodness. Found another berry bush. That paid off. All right. And then we will gather up these berries. And I think now... There we go. Nimble fingers, you guys. So I think I definitely want to get the nimble fingers in there so we can gather up some of the nuts. That's going to be very important. Does Omi have nimble fingers so she can gather up the nuts? No, she actually has both of her collecting from runner's leg. So we need to get nimble fingers in on some of her children for sure. And I think she's going to come over here and she's going to go ahead and mate with June again so that they can hopefully have a daughter. They're really going to need to be hoping for a daughter. And I wonder if actually old uh, Kuronu is hoping that they might have a daughter too so that maybe he can finally have a mate in his old days. And he actually did help to show them where tons of this awesome food is. So as far as the creatures are concerned, he's probably a good provider because he has a good nose for figuring out how to find a bunch of berries in their little rabbit bit Warren. All right, so let's see what happens next. Hopefully her adventurous oldest boys uh, are going to be okay, but we definitely need a little girl soon. I, I remember last tribe, we actually had two stray females show up almost immediately. I think they were chasing each other actually. All right, so let's go ahead and move a little Kulo over and we will go ahead and put Omi. I'll have her gather this and maybe yeah we'll have her move over here there we go so omi is hoping for a daughter or else we're going to be in trouble and this may actually end and we won't be able to follow this tribe until february uh after all let's see any other things over here not really we'll start clearing away some of the spots and little omri is helping out with taking care of oh oh there's something over there okay june we're gonna need to go explore that Let's pop up here. Don't see anything just yet. Gather up some more berries. All right, and let's start exploring. We'll start clearing away some of the grasses so we can get to the tree and the second nest pretty easily. All right, Omi. I think you know how important it is. You're almost, she's almost halfway through her life cycle already. So she loves her spotty boys, but she's really hoping for a girl this time. So let's see what happens. <gasps> Finally, a female. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I was really, really, really worried. We have Rhesus, so I like that name. And she has the cracking ability from Nimble Fingers. Wonderful. So normal eyesight, healthy on the blood. She actually has what I think that this tribe may consider something very beautiful. Among the females, just plain colored coat. May probably be something that they consider quite lovely. Um, something almost like simple and minimalistic about it that just has a very simple beauty to it. So, Rhesus, I'm so glad you're here with us. Oh, thank goodness. Another female, and she has B and G immunity. So, unfortunately for Rhesus, unless I wanted to mate her with one of her brothers, which is not the most ideal thing to do right away, though A and F immunity with Kulo, so she does have opposing immunity with one of her brothers, at least. Um, we do have Kuronu, but I don't know if he's going to live. Yeah, four days is not long enough, so poor Kuronu. He's not going to have a mate unless at the last second... Oh, nope, that's a bunny. <laughs> I was gonna say, unless at the last second, somebody walks in right now. Let's gather up those berries before the bunny gets it. And he would find a female at the at the very last moment. So sorry about that, Kuronu. We might go ahead and send Tanu. I wanna have him explore in a few places, of course, but we might go ahead and keep sending Tanu out so that he can try to find a mate of his own. That's kind of what he's gotten to, where he's exploring the grasses and hoping to stumble on a stray female. Not sure if it's going to happen. This island feels so much smaller than some of the ones in the past, but who knows? Maybe that means we will actually get this small family launched off to the middle island much earlier than we normally do with our tribes. And over here, I feel like little Omri is really quite the helper. He just kind of focuses on gathering up lots of berries and helping out his family that way. Little Kulo is keeping an eye on his big brother. And then Omi is probably very, very happy because she has finally had a daughter. So she's going to keep a little eye on her little one here. We'll have her clear away some of the grasses too to make sure no predators pop out and threaten her nest. 
And thank goodness, it looks like it looks like the Janu tribe has a chance, you guys. It looks like they are actually going to get an opportunity to hopefully survive all the way until the next update in February. So we're going to stick with this tribe until they die or until we finally decide it's time to leap to the next update. And then I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>